Hi guys and welcome to part 14 of Let's Play Crash Bandicoot 3 War with me and Sane Spyro. And hopefully the audio works this time because I've been having problems with the audio. That's why I haven't had any videos up and they're like, oh I promised the Shiram work in progress updates, I promised the, the thing to Tenerife and all these other videos. But every time I record something it kind of goes like, Oh, hi guys, and welcome to Crash, and this and that, and it just goes slow. Like that, and it won't actually, you know, you can't understand me when it goes in slow motion, so it's like, Ah, why? Why won't you do this properly? Why are you not, why do you keep going in slow-mo, like, halfway through the audio, so, yeah. It's kind, it's been kind of breaking. But what do I expect when I'm using free software? I should actually buy better software when I get the money. Which I will do. But anyway, let's get back to the awesomeness! Where we're driving along another road. Oh, not another road. Didn't we see this same road in the part 13 where we had an awesome but very strange and weird trip to the future? Yes we did, and it's morning. I've been in that garage all night. I got the rum, as I said on the previous video. Uh, I've had a bit of a drink, so... I'm now drink driving down this desert road in the morning. Lovely! So, oh! That just proves I'm drunk, because I just hit a car. <laughs> and it was a police car, so I'm surprised he didn't pull me over. But anyway... Well, I can't say stuff now, because it's like, by the time I'd recorded this audio, I wanted to tell you other things, like, ooh, you see, like, the panda cow, but we've already discussed that, and it's like, ah, yes, I would like to see that, but now that it's a couple of days later, the moment's passed, and we've got 20 out of 20 boxes, let's grab this gem and go into the next level. Got the gem. Oh, we can make it, never mind. We'll just buy some soda from the place on the right. I think it was Dinga Dial Diner or something then. Well, anyway, let's jump out of here and one gem acquired. Nice. Yeah, do your damn crash. Now let's run into, I think, let's go the second warp room and we'll do the tiger. Jump on to. Well, no, I forgot it was Coco. Oh, no, it's Coco. <laughs> Never mind, but yes, let's jump onto the tiger! And we have a difference about this tiger we have just jumped onto. This tiger is not Ray Blade Tiger! It is in fact Kira the Tiger, from Tiny Chat Kira the Tiger. However, she has decided to paint herself orange rather than the usual white. Because Kira- Whoa! I didn't mean to lie, I nearly got hit then. Because Kira is in our news today, so while we are riding her down the Great Wall of China at midnight, let's say why she is here. Because Kira has started her costume for Akon, which is her Entei suit, and it's looking, whoa, it's looking pretty awesome. So keep up the good work, Kira. I can't wait to see the Entei suit. Where you roar as Entei and say that Molly is your daughter, even though I don't understand how well that would work. You're a Pokemon, not a human, unless you have had, like... Well, no, we're not going to go into that sort of discussion. But yes, so Kira is doing Entei, and I can't wait to see it because I've seen, like, the paws and the, like, back fins with that giant cloud thing. And that looks uh, very good so far. So, can't wait to see that finish. And also, John, little J. Peter P. on YouTube. If you go find J. Peter P. on YouTube, you should also see the video. If not, I'll just post a link to getting the second gem. I'll just post a link to the picture on DeviantArt. But John has pretty much finished his... Well, he hasn't finished it, he ordered it, but... Shame difference! So John has actually got his Sneasel costume, so that Sneasel is looking pretty awesome. I really love the Sneasel claws. It's just like, ooh, look at them claws. The claws are so cool. 
So yes, a link to the finished product of that in the box below. And we are now in Egypt, so we've gone back in time to the Egyptian tomb. Where we're going to get two gems in this level, two. I always like the hieroglyphics on the wall. Let's try and translate them. Well, there's a dog there, standing next to a human. I would imagine that's canine hybrid. And there seems to be some scribbles. So I imagine she's drawing. And on all these columns, it's kind of like a... It's like a red thing, isn't it? With a golden fork. So I'm going to say that the fork is actually a golden fork. And the red thing... Tomato, maybe? And I think there's also a snake just under there, is there? I can't tell because one fruit in the way. Move out the way, Wumpa Fruit! Yes, there is kind of like a snake thing on the right. So I'm going to say that the first section of hieroglyphics must mean that K9 Hybrid is currently drawing a snake while eating a tomato with a golden fork. How did they predict this sort of thing 5,000 years ago? That's crazy. But yes, the big story, finally. Definitely a link to the box below to this one. This is like, yes, I've been waiting ages for this. Why have you made me wait this long? But finally, finally it's come. Which is Duke Nukem Forever. It's out. They have give a release date. Yeah! A release date. Which is sometime in May. But, um, the main point is they've brought a trailer out for Duke Nukem Forever. So a link in the box below to the trailer. And I really like what they did at the end. Because the, you know like how we've been waiting 12 years. Yes. You know how everybody's been waiting 12 years for this thing? Well, they actually know this and they made a joke about it at the end and... That is so awesome, so go to the left first, you need the purple gem to get down this path. If you don't have the purple gem, you won't be able to get both gems, but now we go up the left path, which is the hard path to break all the boxes. And um, let's jump over and kill this fire guy. So yes, trailer to Doom Newton Forever. Can't wait to see that. Uh, I think that's everything I need to talk about. I'm pretty sure Shadow Rudy has said for me to say something. What was it? I don't remember. Never mind, I know it's not. It's probably on. It's probably on Shadow Rudy's. Um, YouTube, so go check out her YouTube, I'm sure whatever it was supposed to be on there is on there. She told me like yesterday or the other day, but because it's three days old and the audio went in slow, well I can't, I can't be like, ah, I can't just look back and see what she said. But yeah, I'm sure she, I think she's got a new video up or something, so check YouTube. And now you must backtrack, don't go to the right backtrack. And my backtracking was, took me quite a few attempts. I died a lot in this backtracking section when you don't have a mask. One of the main points where I particularly died, I think it's here, because look, here's the spikes. Oh no, the spikes are under the black tar stuff. I don't know when they're going to pop up, and I got shot by them quite a few times. But that's okay, because we made it back this attempt, and all we have to do now is jump over this gap and go to the right. Now we have the secret gem and we're going for all the boxes! Break the boxes! And yes, the show here. Yeah, I don't know what else. No, that is it! That is all the news for everybody out there! Which is awesome! Even though there is probably something I've missed and somebody will be like, Spyro, you missed this! Why did you miss this? But if they want to to tell me anything, then there you go, I will just say, ah, oh, I'll say it in my next video, because I'm sure there'll be other people who've missed something, but I will certainly say it in my next video. And I have just thought of one other thing, which I remember when I was doing it for the first time, which is Skeptile, who, again, I'll put a link to his YouTube below, who's getting, like, some new paws, because his Skeptile suit he's making, like, 
the old ones have worn out, so he's getting some new ones which all have all these moving bits in it, so they're going to look cool, so there'll probably be a video about them, or photos about them knocking around somewhere, so have a quick look at Skeptile's channel, although I think he's only got one video up, but there you go, because there's 90 out of 90 boxes of our second gem, so we have kind of finished the level nice and smooth, and just about wrapped it up in time, so let's grab our second gem now, and let's jump through the portal back to the normal time period we're supposed to be in, which is 2011. There we go. One gem. Ding. Two gem. And I will say while Crash is doing his little dance that I'll see all you guys in part 15 of Let's Play Crash Bandicoot Warped.